Welcome back to the McCall's Baking Channel. Today we will show you how to use a double boiler to melt compound chocolate, which is also called chocolate wafer. We at McCall's can help you create the perfect chocolate. So let's get started. Place about one pound of McCall's white chocolate wafers in a glass mixing bowl. Bring a small pot of water to a simmer and place a bowl of chocolate on top. You do not want the bowl to touch the water or your chocolate wafers may burn. You only need a small amount of water in the pot. Remove the pot from the burner and stir the chocolate with a rubber spatula. The steam from the water will melt the wafers as you stir. Remove the bowl and continue to stir the chocolate wafers away from the heat. They will be warm enough to continue to melt without overheating. Use a candy thermometer to check the temperature of the melted chocolate. Chocolate wafers work best at about 90 to 92 degrees Fahrenheit. If your chocolate is too warm, continue to stir it to help it cool down. Once you have reached the proper temperature, you're ready to make some fantastic chocolates. To dye your melted white chocolate wafers, grab some McCall's oil-based chocolate and candy food coloring. You always need to use oil-based coloring when dyeing compound chocolate. Add a small amount of the dye and stir the chocolate with a rubber spatula. Add more food coloring if you'd like a brighter color. If you want to add flavoring to your chocolate, you can mix it in at this stage as well. Be sure to use oil-based extracts so your melted chocolate does not break or separate. If your dyed white chocolate is a little too thick to work with easily, you can add some McCall's Super OCO Paramount Crystals to help make it thinner. Super OCO is a dried palm kernel oil that can be added to melted chocolate, making it easier to work with but still allowing the chocolate to harden nicely as it cools. Melt the OCO crystals in the microwave, then stir the liquid into the white chocolate wafer mix, adding about one tablespoon at a time. Pipe your melted dyed chocolate wafers into your clean polished candy mold. A polished mold will make your chocolates much shinier and a shiny chocolate will be hard to resist. Tap the chocolate mold on the counter gently to release any air bubbles and to even out the chocolate. Place your filled chocolate molds on a flat sheet tray and pop them in the freezer to harden quickly. You can also let them set at room temperature, but this can take an hour or longer. The freezer works fast. Flip the mold upside down and the chocolate should fall right out of the mold. Chocolate contracts as it cools, so it will have pulled away from the mold while in the freezer. If the chocolates are sticking, gently twist and tap the mold to help loosen them. The trick to making amazing chocolates is to use perfectly melted chocolate wafers. They are easy and taste great and look beautiful when made into homemade chocolates. Head over to McCall's.ca to grab all of the chocolate supplies you need to make candies just like these. Once you do, post a picture on Instagram and tag us at Love McCall's. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch more how-to videos so that you can learn to bake like a pro. We'll see you next time.